manager Chris Aiken, Chris, a two-nil defeat in your third game in pre-season, just something that went up for us. Ah, listen, it was a, it was another good exercise for the guys against another good team, a level above. But uh, it's another defeat for us. Uh, I know in pre-season you don't really look at any, any defeats, but we need to start stop losing soft goals when, when the real stuff happens. And uh, listen, I'm, I'm still a few bodies, a few bodies light, but the, the main priority is getting the fitness levels. And to be fair, them the fitness levels are looking good. Uh, but we rest up and we go again for another week's training and then we play Thursday night again, so we just need to go again. You've, you've managed to make a couple of additions, you brought in Mark McClucky from St Cadets on loan. How would you find Mark settling in? Mark settled in really well, he's played the last three games, he's done extremely well. And he's going to be a major asset for us going forward. Uh, and hopefully there's going to be another couple following him. Uh, but uh, listen, thanks to St Cadets for giving him because uh, he'll fit into the way we're going to go and play. The way the way we're going to go and set up, Big Mark will, will be a lot, of, will give us a lot of, a lot of good attributes going forward. So I'm delighted to get him. I've known him well, uh, and as I say, going forward, I think the Cowan fans will, will really take to him. In terms of squad, we're looking to make more additions. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hopefully if I can get maybe one or two in next week, if not next week, the week before before we start. And I think it's important. Uh, I'm relying, I'm relying a lot on the young kids. And young kids are under 20, and then it's, I've just spoke to them there, and I'll go and speak to them collectively as a group uh, this week. Uh, they're not ready to go and come and play at this, this level. They need to get their fitness levels up, uh, and that's a challenge that they've got to go and take themselves. So they've done extremely well, and they're enjoying being in this environment. But the only way you can stay in this environment is if you keep driving the standards, and we we'll make sure we do that here. In terms of squad, what areas do you think you need to strengthen? I think if I can, I need to try and get try and get somebody up the park. I think if I can try and get somebody up to we Gavin's been there. Obviously I've got young Jack coming back. He'll be back holiday this week so he'll obviously help. But if I can get some maybe one more attacking player in and maybe another another midfielder in then I think now we'll be happy to go with that. Would you be willing to strengthen yourself in the loan department perhaps? Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen we'll, we'll look at every department we can to go and bring in the bodies that we need. But I've always said Ben I'm not going to go and sign bodies just to say of signing bodies. I'm going to go and sign the right guys who when they come into that dressing room are going to are going to bond with it, the group that are in there and that, we'll do that, we'll take our time and we'll make sure we get the right ones. Two more pre-season games and wish for Thursday then it's the Eglinton Cup against Everton Meadow. Listen, we'll, we'll, as I say, we'll, we'll train we'll train uh, Tuesday and then we'll come in Thursday, we'll play Wisho, uh, we'll play them at our, our, on, on our Astro. So listen, it'll be another opportunity for guys to go and, and state their claim because I've just said to them there, listen, I can only pick 11 players. I says, and we've got two good games. We've got a game on Thursday, and we've got a game against Alvin and We know what, but we know we are friendly because we know what it means to both to both sets of supporters. But listen, we're all gearing up for the 29th, and I've said to them, go and make sure you've got a jersey of number one to eleven. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Ben.